Ale! Am I allowed to go closer to you guys? You can, yes. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, the thing about bar magic as opposed to regular magic is the fact that I don't use big props. I don't, I can't afford them. <laughs> and that's Whoa. all I have to dazzle the world. Right. Now, the thing about magic that happens close to your face is that it has to be performed exquisitely. If I can pronounce that word correctly, but <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Just cost the cards. But honestly, I whoa. whoa. Just do not like card tricks because oh, that's yeah. amazing. But where are you coming from? Yeah. But I have a beautiful six-year-old son, and um, I want to do something to you, Miss Mel. B. Oh wow, well, that my little boy likes. Can I see your hand? The other side. Thank you. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna take this ball, put it right about here. I want you to hold that ball real tight for me. Thank you. With that ball there and that ball there, we're gonna go abracadabra. Open up your hand. Oh. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Let me mentally assault you two on the other hands. <laughs> because, because I am ghetto. Whoa. Oh. Thank you. Not my name, though. <laughs> that is the name. Whoa! Wowza. Oh! Thank you.
Thank you. Uh, I wrote a story just for you guys. It's a close-up trick. If you don't mind, I'm going to join you at the table. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come on over. <laughs> Now, please, keep in mind, what you're about to see is going to be done with a genuinely shuffled deck of cards. It's a story about season nine of America's Got Talent, with Howard Stern, our king of media, America's sweetheart, Heidi Klum, Mel B, our queen of pop, and of course, our favorite, Joker. <laughs> Don't worry, Nick, I haven't forgotten about you. You really are a jack of all trades. Jack of all trades. Me, I'm 25 years old, and sad as it may sound, this whole magic thing has pretty much consumed my life all the time, like 24-7, since I was about four years old. See, people often ask, where do you see yourself in 10 years? But even just five years ago, I never guessed that I'd be here on season nine of America's Got Talent, hoping to hit the wow. jackpot in front of an amazing full house audience here at the Dolby Theater. Forget the address here, number 6801. Of course, I don't have a zero in a deck of cards, so sometimes I improvise. I never Whoa. thought I'd be here across from the great Howard Stern. Now, Howard, I gotta be honest. I know these cards, this king here doesn't really look like you. In fact, in my opinion, all of you judges look much better. One, two, in the flesh. <laughs> yup, even you, Howard. Oh, oh you my all, God. You all look great. You look great dressed to the nines, but don't get me wrong, I'm not just up here to be kissing your aces. Well, except for maybe you, Heidi. See, you do have undeniable six appeal. We all know that. But it's you, Mel B, that I've always had the hots for. You see, you were part of the Spice Girls. The only group in history to have four consecutive number one hits since the legendary Jax and Five. Okay. Good luck. Oh, mate. May I come and join you at your table? Would that be okay? I'd like to share with you a trick. It uses uh, a 50 pound note, one of the largest currency notes available in this country. With my sleeves rolled up, guys, with nothing in my hands, we can get a shot of this on the screen. I'm going to change this 50 pound note into the much rarer, infinitely more valuable Bank of Britain's Got Talent 50 pound note. No way. Well, you can see we've got we've got our head of state, Mr. Simon Cow. We've got our beautiful princesses, of course, our queen. Uh, so <laughs> for you to keep, don't spend it all at once, guys. I don't want you to feel left out. So I brought along some more cash for you. But I know, I know deep down, you don't really want one of these. You'd much rather have one of those. Bank of Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> one for each of you to keep. Oh, I love that. Thank you very much. What? I thought I'd finish with a trick using a picture that I've drawn. Um, it's a self-portrait. That's me. This is where we are. Britain's Got Talent. You see, most magicians at this point would ask one of you to reach in and take a card. I'm not going to do that. Instead, if I may, I'm just going to ask each of you one question. David, if I may start with you. So if I could ask you to choose a colour, red or black, whatever you say is what we will use. What colour would you like? Black. Black. Alicia, the black cards are split into two suits. We have uh, the spades, we have the clubs. Again, if I could ask you to choose, whatever you want is what we will use. Clubs. Clubs, fantastic. Amanda, I need you to choose a value for me. What would you like? Nine. Nine, the nine of clubs. Simon, you're the boss. I'm gonna give you the chance, if you like, to stick with the nine of clubs, or you can overrule all of the other judges and you can choose <laughs> any other card that you like. What would you like? Seven of hearts. The seven of hearts. OK. Guys, there is no way I could know that you would choose the Nine of Clubs. There's no way I would know if you would overall, and if you would, what you would change to. You'll agree I haven't touched these. What I didn't tell you is that I've also drawn on the back of every single other card in this deck. Do you remember those cartoon flick books where you flick through and the little man comes to life? Check this out. You see our magician. He takes off his hat. He reaches inside. He pulls out just one card, ladies and gentlemen, not just any card, it's the Seven of Hearts.
Peter, I know this sounds crazy.